Printify store setting tutorial. In this Printify tutorial, we've got you covered. We'll show you step by step on how to set up your Printify store, how you can get it up and running in no time. So stick around until the end to learn what you need to know to get your store. In order for you to go ahead and get your store set up, you'll need to have it connected to a outlet or a source or a website. It can be Etsy, Shopify, or your own website as well. To connect that, you can go ahead and watch another video that I did on how to connect Printify to Shopify or Etsy or any other website as well. It's very simple and get it connected so that you can publish your products there. You need to go ahead and click on store settings right here to get started. Very simple. First setting you need to go ahead and do is naming your store. You have to make sure that your store name and your website name or your outlet name are both the same. So in my case, it's Shopify. So I have to make sure that my Shopify store and my Printify store are both named the same because when the product is shipped from my website, if its name is different, of course it's gonna arrive with a different label and different shipping name than my store it raises eyebrows so make sure that it's the name is properly the same it doesn't seem suspicious and the main setting next is ship from address the default setting is as you can see printify default which i recommend using because unless you are offering specific products and shipping them to specific locations if you have enabled uh, refunds and product returns you really don't need them the default is going to be set to printify default as you can see now unless you're offering refunds and returns you should let this be default but if you are offering refunds and returns which i guess you can then you should go with a custom address select and add in your custom address as well because then this would be shown over here on the label as well so this is a shipping label as you can see it's an example you will have your store name over here ship to your customers and all of that if you leave it default it's going to be similar to this but if you go ahead and add a custom address of course that's going to be shown over there there's also a gb address as well and de as well if the address is from shipment from united kingdom this is going to be that for germany as well i recommend leaving it default as it doesn't really mess with anything as I said before if you are offering returns and offering refunds uh, you should go ahead and add your own custom address moving on we have order routing this feature is actually really really cool what this means is for example if someone is ordering something from germany right that means the nearest printer will be given the order and they will print it and ship it to the customer in germany and it will be faster and saves quite a lot of time that does sound pretty cool but you have to make sure that they give the exact same product to enable this you have to enable the order routing keep it two dollars that's the minimum additional cost what this means is that you're willing to pay two dollars extra or two dollars more in shipping so that the nearest printer in germany can ship that product to your customer in germany same thing if someone is ordering your product from let's say united kingdom then what printify will do is they will tag or send the order to the nearest printer in uk that way your customer can receive your the product much quicker and save quite a lot of time it does sound cool so to enable that you have to enable it of course you would be willing to pay two dollars extra in shipping for that next an important thing that you need to make sure you do is you have to allow routing for the exact product match only not similar products but exact product because some products might seem similar but they are different because they have different manufacturers created in a different marketplace in a different location therefore the sizes can be different so the color the material they might seem similar but they might be a little bit off so that could create some problems so make sure that you keep it the exact product matches only that way the customer will receive the exact same product that you are selling there will be no return for that you got to make sure if you want to enable routing you should enable it add two dollars extra you, you can go up to a hundred dollars but i recommend going with two dollars you can go more it depends on you if you're still confused on how routing works the over here they also explain it as you can see if an exact match is unavailable we'll send a product of similar quality and color unless disabled above this is what i mean you have to go with exact product matches only therefore they won't send similar products they will send only exact product keep that in mind next is order approval this is actually pretty important as well i recommend you do is keep it 24 hours automatic not one hour automatic or specific date as well or manual keep it automatic what this unless you are offering specific and specialized and customized products as well for customized product i would recommend going with manual or automatic one hour if it let's say just 
particular products that you're selling then keep it automatic they will be approved automatically you won't have to go ahead and manually approve them so keep that in mind you can go ahead and view the specifications as well the customer can see them as well and uh, if they change their mind they can cancel their order as well so that way the there won't be any loss in production or time on either side next up is tracking notification receive as soon as possible or receive as soon as it is available or receive at a certain day so what is tracking notification this will basically allow you to receive tracking information on specific time on specific products it depends on you they will send you emails on the product progress so what this basically does is printify will send you updates regarding products that they have sent to shipping or in progress so that you can see what the progress entails how long it will be and stuff like that if you want to keep that on you can go ahead and receive it as soon as it's available or receive it at a certain day it depends on you or you can turn it off entirely it's on you the next step is delayed orders so what this means is sometimes due to restrictions in shipping some print providers cannot deliver their orders what you can do is you can go ahead and send the delayed orders to production manually or enable them automatically right here you have two options Mad or manually sent to production or automatically sent to production all incoming orders where shipping and restrictions apply will remain on hold all right you can go ahead and manually send the orders affected by shipping delays to production on your order detail page you cannot send orders that are not cancelled due to shipping restrictions to production if you go with automatic this will of course automatically send the delayed products to a production as per your order approval setting order approval settings are over here automatic every 24 hours and then you have daily order updates that they will send you daily emails about updates on different orders same as you know tracking information but it's more on the orders update have the orders been delivered if not why haven't they delivered when will they be delivered basically these were some of the settings that you need to know about there's also printify connect but this is available for premium users so i recommend you don't we'll skip that for now because only stores that have actually made tons and tons of money can have premium if you're just starting out you don't really need to go ahead and bother with this so we'll continue on next tip shipping over here you can automatically assign a new shipping profile or general profile and then you have printify which is jams design bella canvas unisex and now these designers or profilers or shippers well you can select them you know go ahead and choose products from them so for example as you can see this product that i had made this is from bella plus canvas all of my products are from bella plus canvases then of course my shipping profile will be this one you know you can go ahead and automatically assign a new shipping profile it it really doesn't matter you can leave it as it is then you have the shipping calculator where you can add different shipping zones calculate how much it would cost to ship to that location and what type of margin you should keep for profits and stuff like that and then you have branding which i don't recommend you go into right now but you know it is nice to have they will basically add a thank you card within the products or customers so when they open the package they're going to be greeted with a thank you card with your branding on them stuff like that so you can go ahead and create your own branding cards over here it will also allow your brand name to be you know stitched into the neck labels as well generally speaking these are all the settings that you need to know about in printify and how you can get started with your store so ready to take your printify store to the next level let me know in the comment sections what other tutorials you'd like to see if you found value in this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and don't forget to check out our other videos on printify store optimizations 